Donald Trump has created a collection of NFT trading cards, saying that buyers would receive real-life rewards. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection right here and right now. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize. Such as an invitation to a gala dinner with Trump or a meet and greet with the former U.S. president. And both NFT supporters and Trump supporters are suspicious of the announcement. On Thursday, Trump posted the Collect Trump Cards campaign on his official Truth Social account. According to the article, the digital trading cards created on Polygon and Ethereum's sidechain network are being sold for $99 each and will enter buyers into competitions to win various prizes. In this video, we'll explain why Donald Trump's first NFT collection sells out in less than a day, its price right now, and more. So make sure you keep watching to be the first to get these updates and news. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get the latest crypto news, guides, and updates. Now, let's begin. Each card depicts Trump, sometimes as a superhero, cowboy, or astronaut. After inciting January 6, 2021, attack on the United States Capitol, the ex-president resigned in shame. He has now faced inquiries regarding his participation in the events and allegations of fraud in his businesses. Collect all of your favorite Trump digital trading cards, which function similarly to baseball cards, but should be far more entertaining, he wrote today. Would be an excellent Christmas present. Don't delay. They'll be gone fast, I believe. Although there have been previous unauthorized ventures, this is the first time Trump has published his NFT collection. Earlier this year, Social Network Parlor, for example, issued Trump-inspired NFTs. On Polygon, Trump's collection has 45,000 total NFTs, with a per-buyer restriction of 100 NFTs. Trump's NFT rollout went exactly as you'd expect. The Trump show has returned, this time in cowboy dusters, astronaut outfits, and more on the blockchain. The NFT trading cards represent Trump in different outfits, which Trump described as scenes for my life in a promotional video. According to the website, the revenues from the launch, which have already sold out, will have nothing to do with funding the Trump campaign. He describes them as modest collector's goods that will enter buyers into a drawing for multiple prizes, including dinner with Trump, a Zoom chat with Trump, autographed memorabilia, and so much more. It's all handled by an obscure cryptocurrency firm named NFT Into LLC, which paid Trump for the branding and is at the heart of a usually blurry maze of shell companies. There has already been speculation that he stole the artwork. Even MAGA Republicans have already stated that they would not buy the cards, with many probably still focused on the FTX collapse, implying great, just the best, timing. The launch process has also been the usual high-comedy Trumpian mess. Buyers began complaining about some checkout experiences not quickly after the tokens were on sale, surpassing $1.17 million in trade volume in the first 24 hours, then reported that the NFTs were delivered to a newly generated separately from the buyer's primary wallet. After some confused fighting, crypto researcher Eric Wall appeared to figure it out tweeting that he needed to download a .x file to access the wallet with the proper key from deep inside some Web3 software development kit browser plugin. But it did not stop there. There are also other dubious terms and conditions. The wall noted that after finally gaining access to his NFT card, a kind of 8-bit rendering of Trump being rained on by gold bars, he discovered in the fine print that the promised dinner with Trump was a Trump galadere and the Zoom call with Trump was a group Zoom call. The term one in the line, you have won a 20-minute group Zoom conversation, refers to a footnote that provided further details. Screenshots are not proof of winning. They are subject to validation and eligibility verification. Other blockchain investigators who examined the Polygon-based Mint more thoroughly discovered that the launch address also pre-minted a sizable part of the collections rarest NFTs, likely retaining them for the project's benefit. Many others commented on how on-brand everything was, and Trump despises cryptocurrency. I am not a supporter of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which are not money, he tweeted in 2019. In 2021, he described Bitcoin as a scam, fighting with the currency. Trump's NFT launch overlaps with the first anniversary of former First Lady Millennia, Trump's NFT mint on Solana, Trump NFT's top sales charts. Despite widespread mockery and condemnation, former U.S. President Donald Trump's first official NFT collection sold out in less than a day. Now, 
Digital trading Cards dominate the secondary market, with at least part of the sales coming from NFT traders who got in on the cheap. Trump's collection had sold out thoroughly this morning, stoking a surging secondary market as prices climbed. The cheapest Trump NFT on prominent marketplace. OpenSea now starts at around 0.43 ETH, or almost $506. Today, December 18, no collection has boosted secondary market trading volume in the last 24 hours. According to OpenSea, which shows 1,204 ETH, or nearly $1.44 million, in deals. The Board Ape Yacht Club comes in second with 427 ETH, about $511,000, in NFT sales. Nonetheless, Trump's NFT collection generated over $4 million in primary income, and secondary market sales are already rising. Some fans may have been drawn in by Trump's fame or the promise of future rewards for holders. According to CryptoSlum statistics, the largest Trump NFT sale was for more than $46,000 late yesterday. The NFT includes a digital autograph from Trump. The Utah-based corporation behind the Trump NFTs gets a 10% share of each secondary sale on markets that honor creator royalties, such as OpenSea. That is significantly higher than most large-scale NFT projects with hundreds of assets, typically using a rate between things you should know before buying. Several international media outlets have mocked former U.S. President Donald Trump, especially for creating comics and cartoon characters based on him and his views. The former president joined their league this time, though, not to make fun of them but to introduce his digital trading card characters. The AFTs have some excellent benefits for MAGA-types. According to CollectTrumpCards.com, every NFT purchase entitles you to an automatic entry into a contest with a chance to win thousands of incredible prizes. The AFTs shed light on Trump's distorted self-image. These limited-edition cards feature amazing art of my life and career, Trump wrote in a post on Truth Social. Eight trading card designs are highlighted on CollectTrumpCards.com. They display Trump engaging in various activities, including golfing, holding a football, giving his trademark double thumbs up while gold bars fly at the screen and posing in front of a boxing ring while wearing electrified 45 gloves. The Trump campaign's promotional video is incredibly nostalgic for TV ads. When you press play, you'll be taken back to when you watch days of our lives commercials during missing class because you were homesick. If you enter now, Trump and Ed McMahon might surprise someone with a check and tell you that miracles can happen to you as well. The collection sponsor, NFT Int, claims on its website that no funds raised will go toward Trump's 2024 presidential bid. Trump's likeness appears to have been licensed for the project rather than the president himself. NFT's market reaction NFT's had a $23 billion market capitalization as of one year ago. It was more than Take-Two Interactive Software or CarMax. Its current value, according to CoinMarketCap, is just $2.4 billion. It lost almost 8% of its value in the last 24 hours. Donald Trump's NFT trading cards pumped 500% in value upon launch. Since the launch of the NFT trading cards by former U.S. President Donald Trump, the price has skyrocketed and continues to climb. The value of the whole collection has surpassed $2.8 million. The price of these tokens has been steadily increasing since they were launched. The pricing on Sunday shows a significant increase in value for Trump's NFT trading cards since it was first published. Currently, at the time of recording, the floor price of the NFTs is around 0.43 ETH, which equals $506, an increase of more than 500% compared to its launch price of $99. Thus, one can conclude that if all 45 NFTs were bought for about $4,500, the investment would stand close to $22,000 in a few days. The NFTs were immediately sold out. According to reports on Friday, their cost on the secondary market had nearly doubled, and the concept of being presented as Superman has always captivated the former president. A cake adorned with a skyline included a cutout of a Superman-like character with Mr. Trump's head attached to its body for his 50th birthday party. Our video has come to an end. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to be the first to get future blockchain, crypto, Web3, and NFT updates and news.